<laughs> Are you coming up? Hi! Hi guys, welcome to another video. I thought I would do a February's favourite video and share with you some of my very favourite clips from the dark month that is February. I always find that January and February are super gloomy months, so picking out your favourite things to do, to see, to use, is a really nice thing. So um, let's get cracking. Um, excuse me, does somebody want to be on a boudoir? Okay, so if you don't mind my dog, this is Cammy, and um, he's my puppy and the love of my life. He's a Jack Russell Chihuahua mix and he's a little senor, a little prince. And so, right, let me get cracking onto my favourites. Oh, he's shaking. Oh, what a little actor. Oh, what a little actor you are. So, my first favourite of um, this month has been, well, it's two favourites really rolled into one, but it's Fargo and The Missing. So, um, Fargo, I really like the first and second season. I know that a lot of people say that the second season wasn't as good as the first, but I really loved it. This whole 75 was brilliant. Really loved how dark it was, the way it was shot, everything about it really. And we got really into it and watched it, I think, within two weeks, the whole two seasons. So, yes. My next favourite thing has actually got to do with this little boy. I have recently, or we have recently, moved into the hills of Barcelona and I have been really appreciating living outside of the city and the hustle and bustle of it all and just being able to step out of my front door and go on a really nice little nature walk and get out and walk every day and get fresh air and see like leaves and see the seasons change as well because I think down below in the city you never saw that. I love the fact that it's like a little small community, it's quiet, there's not a lot of people and it's just a really beautiful place to live and I just feel so lucky and fortunate to be able to live here and I really enjoy it. I think it's the best choice that we've made and I will take you out on some nature drawing walks so we often pop out first thing in the morning to take this little chat we have a little routine and we really love it and take my cup of tea or my cup of coffee and I just go for a little stroll just taking everything and it's that time for me just to be like oh. and to feel like me it's like meditation um, and medication for me so I, I really enjoy it. My third favourite of February is actually pancakes because it's pancake day! It was pancake day, I love pancakes. I didn't really take any photos or videos this year but pancakes, oh my goodness. My favourites are with brown sugar and lemon. I also do like to have, which is controversial, cheese and marmite and with maple syrup. So yeah, pancakes forever. They're also quite nice with Nutella. Oh, just, I love a good pancake me. Isn't it, puppy? Yes. Um, I love my puppy so much. Oh, he's so cute. Hmm. You obviously love him so much too. So my next favourite is actually some little plant pots. Bye Cammy, Cammy's going, say goodbye. Some little plant pots that I have collected. I love plants, I love keeping plants, but me and plants aren't great friends because I end up killing them most of the time. Well actually I don't kill them, I go away and then my um, partner forgets to water them and he gets in a lot of trouble when I arrive home and there's dead plants because it is always in the summer when it's scorching and my poor little plant babies die. So I think I'm just gonna get really easy to look after plants and some succulents and stuff. But I really love these plant pots that I've got. And uh, they're actually from one of my favorite stores in Barcelona. <sighs> so my next favorite is this sofa cushion. These are from Ikea. I think a lot of people must have them, but I actually really like the kind of knitted, not knitted, but woven, woven, that's the word, 
texture. I feel like they add like something graphical to my sofa and a bit of interest to the living room. Also nice shape. Love the black and white. I just love them. They look really pretty on my sofa. I just threw it over back on my sofa over there. My next favourite is actually sitting behind me. It's our wonderful, glorious bookshelf, which is a mid-century purchase. I love it so much. I love having books and everything. It sits behind me in my living room, behind the armchair, and I think it's a really nice feature. It's kind of in a little cubby hole, so it makes good use of that space and displays all of our many books that we own. My next favourite as an illustrator is quite an important one and it's pens. I particularly love pens from Muji. I find they're really easy and nice to draw with, they create really nice lines and shapes and yeah they're really inexpensive, I get through them, I over lose them, they're in a multitude of bags that I own and I always have them around on my desk. Um, the next are these three watercolour um, markers from Winsor & Newton. I love these. They come with a fine tip and with a thicker tip. And when they're magical, magical. When So when you put water on them, they turn into like watercolour. So you can be like really precise. And then with a the brush, you go super good so I got three shades for now paints grey which I love um, it's dark and moody and creates a like inky effect I got a lamp black which is obviously black and a pale rose so the pale rose is really pretty for skin tones as well and for accenting things so I love that my last pen favourite of the month is this Stabilo Bionic. I don't actually know the thickness of the pen, but it is a really thick and I use this for outlining stuff and finishing off illustrations when I'm doing the inking process. So yes, that is it for pens. Hi! My next favourite is my iPad Pro. This is an amazing present from my boyfriend, partner, whatever he is, my prince. And um, I want the good one because I'm a beast and I like a bit of bling. I love this. This has changed my life. It's been revolutionary. I often have really sick days where it actually hurts to sit at a desk or hold a pen and paper. These days actually happen more often than not. And I find that the iPad is actually super easy to use if when doing like quick sketching or inking and stuff. I love the fact that I can draw out on paper, then take a photo and import it. It's brilliant. It's also a planner, emailer, everything thing. So yeah, I've had a few meetings lately and I've taken it to meetings. It's been super handy just to jot down notes and I really love using it. So yes. It's an amazing birthday, Christmas, everything present and comes obviously with the eye pencil. And yeah, I'm still getting to grips with it because I think for a left-hander, it's always a little bit harder to adapt it to things. But it is brilliant. I use the Procreate app. I'm going to get the, I can't remember, I think it's Astro Mood mirroring app, but it's quite pricey. So I've got to be able to justify that first. But yeah, I'm super pleased with it. Um, it's also great for watching YouTube videos, Mr. admit. So yes, really handy. I love watching stuff in the bath. My next favourite has been just a really random kind of thing to put in your favourites, but they really have been my favourite. And they are these little felted slippers. They're super warm and comfortable. At first I had like kind of these fake sheepskin slippers that we always got from Portugal and they kept breaking, they're a bit like fake Uggs as well and yeah I was just tired of them breaking and buying new ones or having to wait until my boyfriend's family went over to the village and got me a pair from Portugal and yeah so these are I found on Amazon, they're super sturdy, they've got a proper like sole and at first I was like oh they're not going to be as warm and stuff because they don't have a back on them but Oh, I really like them. They're really comfortable. I really like the way they look. Obviously they're grey, which I love. 
and they felt and they're really warm. So my next favourite, the L'Oreal Super Thin Liner. I find that it's the best that I've used for a long while. The tip is super fine. The line's really good, really black, and it doesn't budge, which is a perfect combination for me. My next favourite has been a Bourjois Volume Mascara. I've really enjoyed using this, I really love the applicator. Yeah, it just keeps the curl and I curl the lashes. It's the right amount of like volumising and lengthening. Uh, just doesn't really budge, which is what I asked for in a mascara. It reminds me of the Benefit Roller Lash, but obviously it's a lot cheaper. The next is a NARS foundation, where it's not really a foundation, it's more of a skin tint. I do really like it, I like its velvety finishes, I really love the shade, I'm actually I wearing it now. My next favourite has to be liquid lipsticks. I am obsessed. I really love the NYX ones, um, the lip creams, they're not as harsh on the lips, my lips get really dried out so I can't wear lipstick every day. I have loads of lipsticks and I've got into wearing lipsticks, never used to wear lipstick in my younger years but now I'm an old gal, I feel like it really brightens up my face. I love the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, I've got one from Sephora and I'm really loving beauty blenders. Beauty blenders have revolutionised my foundation. Um, I used to buff stuff in before and I really like beauty blenders for concealing and for foundation. In fact you apply it onto a wet sponge, it's just really natural, blends really easily and I like that you buff on your face. My last favourite of February, I've actually started the bullet journal in March and I will do a whole separate video about kind of like how I've done the bullet journal, like how I've laid it out, how I've made lots of mistakes of mine and had to cover up a lot of stuff. I actually really love the concept. I've gone down a whole complete rabbit hole of watching YouTube tutorials and pinning lots of bullet journal stuff onto my Pinterest. Yeah, I just love the whole concept of it. One of my goals this year is to get myself organised and to get shit done. So I will have a goal catch up, maybe kind of around April time, just to see how I'm getting on with everything. I love the fact that the bullet journal has habit trackers that you kind of funnel down kind of stuff to do, that you take it day by day and you don't kind of like get overwhelmed with like making massive schedules and to-do lists that it's all like movable and flexible. So those have been my favourite favourites. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will try and link as much as possible in the description bar below. I'm also going to do some illustrations of my February favourites which I will put over on my blog and my Instagram. Yes, until till the next video. I really hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Uh, if you have liked this video, please press the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd be eternally grateful. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.